Hi everybody, welcome to Breaking It Down on Conway Corp Channel 5. I'm Jeff Matthews. Thank you to Conway Regional Health System for sponsoring the program. This is our weekly look at the highlights of the Wampuscat football games. Tonight, Conway taking on Jonesboro, the home opener. Jonesboro comes in ranked in the top 10 in pretty much every poll in the state. Conway comes in unranked, 0-1 on the season. Jonesboro chock full of talent. Conway scrappy, and it was all Wampus Cats. First half highlights right now. And Chris Patterson in the game on the first snap. On the ground, Michael George. Michael George into the secondary and hauled down at midfield. Your starters on the offensive line. Pass is complete to Nick Richmond. Richmond in a foot race into the end zone. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds at the one yard line. Oh, man. On that one. Direct snap to Michael George, and he steps into the end zone. The Wampus Cats are on the board first. Six to nothing, and Jordan Wicks on to attempt the extra point. And senior Jordan Wicks, who was perfect on extra points a week ago, will get his first attempt tonight, less than a minute into the game. Just took 49 seconds. The extra point is up. And it is good. The Wampus Cats up early, seven. The safeties are Will Kennedy and Roman Aaron. Acock looking to throw over the middle, right down the seam. It is caught. They like to play fast. Acock over the middle again. Catch is made. Tate Lutz. Good pass blockers as well. Speaking of blocks. <laughs> Will Kennedy for the second week in a row gets in and blocks an extra point. The top three in everybody's 6A poles. A little jet sweep to Nick Richmond. He gets a good block. Gets spun up in the air at the 25 yard line. They're down in four. Quick throw from Rhea. Complete to Nick Richmond. He is hit hard as he catches the ball. Rhea to throw on third down. Looks four and gets Joe Thomas at the 43 yard line. Everything else that you're seeing, hope you're enjoying the broadcast so far. Michael George having a nice game. He's across midfield. Two, two wide receivers to the top. Stay on the ground. Michael George continues to have a big night. He crossed. Got to get to the other 29. Rio will roll and throw. Complete to Chris Anderson. Chris has got room to run. On his feet, pushed out of bounds, close to the first down mark. Three yard line. That third and short allows him to go back on the ground where they've been successful tonight. Michael George looking for the quarter of the end zone. And he's down just short. Now they're going to give it to him. The far official puts his arms up. It is. Reed Hughes snaps. Nick McEwen holds. And Jordan Wicks kicks. And it's 14 to 6. Conway on top. Lots of scoring early. This is fun so far. Let's take 30 seconds and come back on Conway Corp Channel 5. Wicks kicks. I like that. <laughs> yeah, it, we never have in the past, though. They're getting good shots tonight. Feeding us some good replays. Yeah, no, they're doing a great job downstairs for sure. Hundred and fifty nine total yards as we come back from break and Taylor. Giving us that information and the stats that matter the most are we're less than halfway through the first quarter. Cats are up 14 to 6, Levi. And you might think it's been all ground game, but it's actually been pretty balanced. About 85 yards on the ground and 74 yards passing. Rhea, four for five for 74 yards. Got a big chunk of that on that pass to Anderson that set up the uh, run for George. Fountain takes Wick's kick at the three yard line. Five and a half minutes to play. Opening quarter, Cats on top. Handoff. They've got a couple of good running backs. Jackson Freeman off of nose guard. He's actually at the end position. And we've got the other two guys that we've seen come in. Four 205 pound quarterback. Has an offer to play college ball at Southeastern Missouri. And he will keep. Logan White will slow him down, but two. Reverse and a pass, maybe. Williams was in the game, and Conway, a great job snuffing that out. Offers and looks, and you'll get a chance to play some big-time college football. I, I prefer this. Second down and 10. Williams will keep. 
Will Kennedy tracking him down. Running up. Haycock, hands off. It'll be enough for a first down. Fumble. That's Zach Friedel who rips it loose. The Cats have the ball with 92 seconds to go in the first quarter. Giovanni Johnson to the left. Giovanni Johnson hurdles. Rhea looking deep, and he's got him. He's won 77 games in 10 seasons there. Bibbs nowhere to go, and he's he right in Northeast Arkansas, Jonesboro. Did not want to give the football right back to Conway, and they picked up the first down. Williams looking to throw, instead is thrown down. And 17, Williams throws, <laughs> hits his receiver in the calf. Right. I think we'll count to 11 and leave it at that. Punt taken by Will Kennedy. Will runs into the defender and keeps his feet. It's a foot race to the 40. Still on his feet, taken out at the 39-yard line. Johnson at quarterback. He keeps Giovanni Johnson bouncing off of Hurricanes. Rhea to Richmond. Nick Richmond pushed out of bounds. Oh, nicely. That's Brennan Clark. Brennan Clark inside the 10. First and goal, Wampus Cats. First and goal. Clark. Brennan Clark taken down inside the three. George, the direct snap. Fighting his way forward. Joe Thomas pushes him in for the touchdown. And overall, in just about every poll in the state. And that extra point is good as well. It is 28 to 6. This edition of the Wampus Cats. Again, that's two weeks from tonight. We can get you a phone number with some more, more information about that. How about the play by Darnell Washington? First down and 10. Acock. Pass is complete and dropped immediately. That's Slayton that's dropped by Jackson Freeman. To go. Fourth down, and the Hurricanes will go for it. Pressure! Kane Aaron. First and 10. Brennan Clark. Brennan Clark. Starks and a bunch of other Hurricanes in motion. Rhea will throw, looking deep. He's got Will McKenna. McKenna into the corner. And Jordan Wicks will kick. And he remains perfect on extra points. And what a night for the Wampus Cats. 35 to six, the Cats are on top, 224. Low snap. They'll stay on the ground. Takes, cost him that game. Good long punt by Childers, taken by Will Kennedy, Kennedy at the 34-yard line, and he has got some room. Will Kennedy has got some room. Will Kennedy to the 20-yard line. Inside the 20-yard line. Michael George, Michael still on his feet inside the 10. He is hit hard at the 7-yard line. Holds on to it. It's first and goal for the Cats. Has been. He will roll and look to throw. Throws into the end zone. The catch is made by Nick Richmond. Touchdown, Wampus Cats. It's halftime, and it is all Wampus Cats. 42-6 to six at halftime. Cats playing their best half of football in a really long time. We'll have the second half highlights, and they'll go quick because the mercy rule is in effect. That happens next. I'm breaking it down on Conway Corp Channel 5. I'm Jeff Matthews. Thank you for watching Breaking It Down on Conway Corp Channel 5. It's brought to you by Conway Regional Health System. Time now for the second half highlights of the blowout win right now by the Wampus Cats. Should be a pretty quick moving second half. Williams throws over the middle. The pass is incomplete. Oh. 18 carries. Acock will hand off. That's Bibbs. A part of it that we love. And next week at Bentonville, live back on the air with Wampus Cats to go. 6.45 airtime. Stops short, but then he falls forward and into the end zone. Going for two, it's Williams who will throw. Pass is incomplete, it remains. There's Michael George into the secondary. Dropped at the 40 yard line. Watch next week, we'll announce next week's Lineman of the Week from the Wampus Cats 
And from Conway Court, Brennan Clark with a carry down to the 36 yard line. One of those special nights for Conway. George again. They hit him high and you got to hit him low. It's some strange seasons. Well, We've made the playoffs, but the records have been a little, a little different than what we're used to seeing. And injuries on top of injuries has been tough to deal with. Fumble on the play. They were trying to rip it loose. AJ Acock in at quarterback. Check that. That's Williams. Nowhere to go. Can get. It is chock full with great teams from the Southland Conference. Hope lots and lots of folks will come out and enjoy football. Cats up 42 to 6, beginning the third quarter. Bibbs with the run on third down, and he'll be just a little bit short of the first down. Turnover and, and have played clean. Really just one penalty tonight against the defense. It's been all around a, a, a really great game for Conway. Screen pass to Bibbs, and he follows his big blockers down inside the five. It'll be first and goal. But there has been no drop off at all in the levels of talent that this team has uh, shown on defense. And Hurricanes will go for two. Pass play is incomplete. De defensive player. Yeah. He told us <laughs> in the preseason show how much he was eating. What That's true. Nice throw and catch there. Real nice throw and catch. Strongly considered is number 99, Kane Aaron. Brennan Clark just rammed that hurricane. Rhea slings it over the middle. Will McKenna with the catch and folded back at the 23-yard line. Brennan Clark. Brennan kicking it outside. Hustling to the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Brennan Clark. High snap, good hold by McEwen. And Jordan Wicks, the future Kansas State baseball player, is good with the extra point. Pretty impressive night of offense. Will Kennedy's like, yay, finally I get a break. <laughs> don't, have to, don't have to punt. Pass is complete out to Fountain. Um, we had a 49-point game then. So we've matched that. Cole Hoover gets the stop. But um, to put 49 on the board, it's it's been a while since we've seen that. Williams spins and throws. Passes knocked Two away. to go. The running clock will get us there quickly. Williams passes complete to Slayton. Malik Williams. Deshaun Fountain with a nice move following the catch. Team that heard about us talking, heard us talking about it, and some other places where they've been talking about the reunion, and they're going to have a bunch of folks come out. And it was 42 to six at halftime. Final score: 49 to 18. An absolute dominating performance by the Wampus Cats against Jonesboro, getting that victory, 49 to 18, to improve to one and one. Looking at some of the individual statistics, it was a fantastic game for Michael George. 17 carries, 161 yards, and three touchdowns. Andrew Rhea, almost perfect. 10 of 11 through the air, 196 yards and three touchdowns. Nick Richmond, five catches, 94 yards, and a couple of touchdowns for Nick. Jordan Wicks, perfect seven of seven on extra points. Defensive stars throughout. This was a complete performance by the Wampus Cats, and they looked really good. 49 to 18, the final score, the Cats get the win. On the road at Bentonville on Friday night, we'll have the broadcast for you live with Wampus Cats to go. Hope you'll join us for that. Thank you for watching Breaking It Down. Thank you to Conroe Regional Health System for sponsoring. Appreciate you watching Conway Corp Channel 5.